so my name is Joseph Nyango, lecturer from Railway Training Institute. So today I would like to tackle one of the topics of the Engineering Mathematics 3, Double Integrals. So <clears throat> this is the analysis of um, double integration. And now we have in the first one a function of x, y is integrated first with respect to x, keeping y constant, and then later integrated with respect to y. Then, then the result is a double integral denoted by this particular expression. Now, when we are starting with respect to x, the limits for x will be functions of y. And the final integration, the last integration to be cleared, which will be with respect to y, the y values will take, be constants. So a double integral is a definite integral. If a function of x and y is integrated with respect to y, keeping x constant, and then later integrated with respect to x, the result is a double integral denoted by this double integral expression. And now, the, the first integration is with respect to y. And the limits for y will be functions The limits for y must be functions of x. The first integration will be functions of x, so that where there was y, we put something in terms of x. The final integration now will just be a, a, an integration of a single variable, which will be in terms of x. And that one now, we can have the limits for x being constants values. So, any double integral, as it can be seen from the first expression, taking any order, the, the double integral is a definite integral. So there is something we need to note carefully. There's something we need to note carefully.
So just by going through uh, and B, if a function of x, y is equal to 1, then the double integral represents the area bounded by the graphs. x is equal to a function of y. x is equal to another function of y. y is equal to a and y is equal to b. So that one, if you want to get the area of any region where there is function of x, y, we'll be inserting 1 then we can be able to get the area of the region bounded by some graphs. Or when starting like in the part two, if you are integrating fast with respect to y, the region will be bounded by y is a function of x, y is equal to another function of x, x is equal to c, and x is equal to d. That particular region, whenever a function of x and y is equal to one, then that is the area of that region. In our moment two here, the region bounded by the graphs x is equal to gy, x is equal to h of y, y is equal to a, y is equal to b, or y is equal to l of y, y is equal to m of x, x is equal to c, and x is equal to d, is known as the field of integration. Known as the field of integration. Now have example So um, you have been told here in our example one, evaluate this double integral. Because we have dy as the first um, differential coefficient, then we are going to integrate first with respect to y. And then we'll do it later with respect to x. So the first limits here are for y. So when we are going to integrate the function indicated here, we're going to do it with respect to y, keeping x co constant. So the integral of this will be equal to, we maintain the limits when we'll be integrating with respect to x. Now integrate this one with respect to y, which will give us x squared, y squared all over 2, plus y power 4 all over 4. And then we put limits that for the y, which is 1, 2, 3. Then we write dx. This one will be equal to from 2 to 4. We are now inserting these limits. These limits are for y. So this one will give us 9x squared all over 2. We are inserting the upper limit plus 81 all over 4. Now minus. When you insert lower limits, we normally give, put a minus for insertion of the lower limits. So this one will now be a half x squared plus a quarter. There. A big x. This simplifies to 2 to 4. 
Uh, we now simplify the whole expression before we proceed. This will be 9x squared all over 2 plus 81 all over 4 minus a half x squared minus a quarter. Which will be equal to 2 to 4. And this one. 9 over 2 minus a half. We get 4x squared. 81 over 4 minus a quarter. We get minus 2 and. So this one will be equal to, um, we are now integrating with respect to x, so it will be 4x cubed all over 3 minus 20x. And now we insert limits for x, which are given from 2 to 4. So this one will bring. 56 over 3 minus 8 minus 80 and minus uh, minus we're inserting 2 32 over 3 and insert 2 here, we get minus 40. Which simplifies to can be told to evaluate such a double uh, integral where we are, we are integrating exponential y squared with respect to x and then later with respect to y. This we are starting the limits for x starts from 0 to y and limits for y is from 0 to y. So in our solution if you evaluate this When we integrate with respect to x, we are going to keep y constant. When we keep y constant, exponential y squared is kept as a constant. So this one will give us 0 to 1. And when a constant is integrated with respect to another variable, uh, then the answer is that constant multiplied by the variable. So this is e power y squared multiplying the variable, which is now x. Then we input our limits from 0 to y. And then we have here and dy. So this will be 0 to 1. Insert y where there was x. 
So upper limit y exponential y squared minus now insert zero where there was x we get minus zero and y. So this will be from zero to one y exponential y squared and dy. For any exponential function, having any function in its power. We normally check, uh, if you have another functions beside that, you check whether you can be able to differentiate what is in the power. If it can bring an element of what is multiplying that exponential. Like in this, when you differentiate y squared, we get 2y. But here we only have y. We are only missing a constant. So we can use method of substitution. A method of polynomial substitution to evaluate this last integral. So I say, let u be equal to, let u be equal to y squared, and the u will be equal to 2y, 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 2y dy. So dy, this implies dy, this implies dy will be equal to du all over 2y, du all over 2y. Which will be equal to the integral that we are evaluating now be equal to zero, zero to one. Just a minute, we have not changed our limits. When? When y is equal to zero, u will be equal to one. u will be equal to one. We can just go the other side. See now that. Mm. When y is equal to zero, u is equal to one. When y is equal to one, u is also equal to. When y is zero, u is zero, not one. Not one. When y is one, u is also equal to one. Therefore, the integral of 0 to 1, y e power y squared dy will be equal to the integral 0 to 1, y e power u du all over 2y, which gives us integral of 0 to 1, a half e power u on the u. It is equal to a half e power u. And then we input limits. Limits are now for u, 0 to 1. So it is a half into e power 1 minus e power 0, which is equal to a half into e minus 1. 